So Nixon decides, this is where it all starts going a bit skew with. Uh, Nixon decides he's just going to set up his own people to do that sort of thing. He's just going to set up his own whatever you want to call it. Plumbers. <laughs> to hunt down, investigate, bug, unnerve anyone that he wants people like Ellsberg this Daniel Ellsberg and, and, and anyone like it and to set examples so wow this, so what he yeah. creates like some sort of unofficial a group of men that are, are, are loyal to him personally yeah. who can go and act I don't know of... if you could call it secret police it's not quite that well I, I'll describe what it is but yeah it's a weird yeah completely unconstitutional thing yeah but yeah, yeah, I mean, later the Nixon White House would try and say everything that went wrong was to do with the camp creep, the campaign to re-elect the president, and that yeah. all the wrongdoing was theirs. Right. Um, yeah? yeah. So, sure. so, sure. so Jeb Magruder gets Liddy, Golden Liddy, mm-hmm. to uh, come up with some ideas. <laughs> and yeah, so they go in, and uh, in May 1972, you know, a month before Watergate, they break into the same offices and plant bugs, but don't get caught that time. And the uh, bugs, okay. the bugs yeah. are a bit crap. Some of them, I think one of them doesn't work or some of them don't work. And the ones that do are like not really in sensitive enough places and they're getting nothing but like the secretary was talking about hair appointments and stuff. Uh, <laughs> Gordon Liddy talks, he was horrified with the intelligence he was getting. It was just useless. <laughs> and, and the powers that be, whether that be Nixon himself or Haldeman or whatever, uh, are like, oh, it comes down through Coulson, basically. Get us the good shit. <laughs> comes down through Coulson and uh, Magruder. Get us some proper intelligence. So they decide to go back in to uh, the Watergate office buildings and take photographs of loads of documents. Like I say, they've got I think like 50 reel, reels of film and 36... That's crazy. Pre- like... Hundreds and hundreds of pictures of documents and want to put more bugs in Larry O'Brien's phone and all this sort of stuff. So go on. Cause, no, I just like... Because on the face of it, that does seem like a, a an okay idea in that, like, obviously, if you can... If you know what, they're, what your enemy is talking about, then that's going to give you an advantage, right? But equally, like, what... How much... What are they really going to be saying to each other in the, you know, democratic offices? They're going to be like spilling the beans to each other. Yeah, no, like, exactly, exactly. What, what, is, one of the what things are they going Nixon, to get? That's one of the things Nixon says repeatedly from like the f- one of the few first times he hears about it, all the way up to like the Nixon interviews with Frost, right. like five, six, seven years later, whatever it is, 1977, yeah. I think those are. He goes, you know, it's the goddamn dumbest political <laughs> paper I've ever heard of. What the anyone knows? You set one foot inside. Uh, you know the Democratic National Committee, and you realise this—you're not going to get anything sensitive there. It's the yeah. dumbest thing ever. Um, yeah. That's why I, I am—I'm convinced. And I think everyone, really, all historians, even Nixon's worst detractors, know that he never ordered that. It's pretty—it's probably almost definite that Nixon never said to anyone, "Break in there and and try and bug Larry O'Brien's phone in, in the Democratic." <laughs> In the yeah. DNC. Um, but there you go. Yeah, it, it went down and, um, yeah, and in the end, someone okayed Gordon Liddy to do it. So there you go. Um, they broke in a second time, to, and, and that's when they got caught. Now, the FBI, this is where it starts getting into – because that's one thing, isn't it? Doing, the, doing that crime, whether you ordered mm-hmm. it or not, that's one thing, okay? That's one misdemeanor or one transgression of the law. A completely different one is trying to cover it up. <laughs> yeah. And and that's where the Nixon story, the Watergate story, sure. really just takes off because um, it's so much more than just a breaking. Like I say, it, it gets involved with the CIA, the FBI, the whole, like, goes to the, the heart of the presidency and even, you know, the uh, Supreme Court get involved and there's endless hearings and, uh, like, you have to discuss what the nature of executive privilege is. And, well, it just goes on and on. Wow. So, these guys get caught. And one of them's James McCord, who's directly linked to the election, uh, the, the committee to re-elect the president. So, the cops catch these guys. The FBI get involved almost straight away. So, so was, was Liddy one of them, one of the five? No, no, no. no. So, right. the two guys that were, the two sort of more, slightly more senior guys that are running it is Gordon Liddy and Howard Hunt. 
Um, you may have heard of Howard Hunt. He's another sort of ex-CIA guy. Right. Uh, we'll get into Hunt a bit later because he's a, an interesting character. But within about a day, the FBI have got obviously the five guys, the four Cubans and James McCord, and they find out that Howard Hunt and Gordon Liddy were sort of their controllers. Right. Um, because <laughs> this is how dumb now. This is how uh, how incompetent these folks are. That on them, one of them had a check made out by Howard Hunt <laughs> for like $6, $6.36 or something to pay a, like a really small outstanding bill at his uh, country <laughs> club. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like this most sensitive, politically sensitive break-in. And uh, yeah. Hunt had just given it to him to mail and he just hadn't yet. It was just in his pocket. <laughs> It's pathetic. And also, one of them also had uh, just an address book on them with all their contacts in it. Oh, my God. And one of the contacts, it just said HH, and then, which was Howard Hunt. They, sure. They deduced that relatively quickly. And a WH and a number. Turned out WH is White House. It was just Howard Hunt's White House number. Howard Hunt wor- <laughs> worked for the White House. Howard Hunt is working for the White House. Jesus Christ. This is goddamn Disneyland. 